Hi, uh, I'm back again. So, first of all, uh, we need to uh, understand that this is a cloud-based uh, continuous testing architecture. So, when we say cloud-based, uh, it means that all the things would be hosted on the cloud. They'll be on the virtual service. So, for that, uh, I'll be using Amazon EC2, and Amazon has done fairly well in uh, giving the cloud-based services. So, Amazon Web Services have a hell lot of uh, applications hosted over the virtual environment which we can use so we'll be using EC2 instance for that and EC2s are basically uh, uh, they are like rack spaces over the cloud so they are virtual servers running uh, on the cloud on the cloud when we say on the cloud like we can connect to them and do all set of operations so for this uh, I'll log into my Amazon EC2 account so the prerequisite is that you should have an Amazon EC2 account if you don't have uh, you can create one or you can ask uh, your company to give you the credentials for the Amazon EC2 account or, or if they can't share the Amazon EC2 uh, credential you just ask them for the uh, the remote desktop connection for a Windows server and even if you want to try it you can create an AWS account so actually it's free for a year or they say 750 hours but even if you pay for this, uh, I mean, if, even if you want to try the setup and uh, you have to pay for it, it will not, they'll not charge you more than like 70, 80 rupees, Indian rupees. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the thing, and you can try it out because it will not take more much. So, I log into my account using my credentials. I could have created the account but I guess they last for the credit card and uh, which I've already signed up so so uh, this is login into the console of Amazon EC2 Amazon web services so these are you can see a whole lot of services which Amazon is giving so we'll be using this EC2 uh, right now So to create the server, it's very simple. Uh, just go to the instances. Just hit this launch instance button. Button was supposed to be button. And take on this free tier, free tier only, because we don't want to spend more much. So select any windows, but I'll prefer this Windows Server database. I'm not getting into the patch why I need this, but uh, just select it. You can use any any of the instance. Choose the free tier available instance. That's a micro one. You don't need a high-end instance because we're just doing a demo setup. Click on next configuration details. And these settings, if you have an idea, you just you can configure it as per your requirement. But uh, and these are basically okay. So I will not get into subnet, scaling, auto scaling, these all things. You just don't need to care about it. Just uh, click on next add, add storage. But this is uh, a very critical step in our uh, setup because 30 GB space is not enough for the setup we are trying to do. So just increase it to 100 GBs. So it it'll that that's why I was saying that it will not uh, take you more than 100 100 Indian rupees because if you uh, leave it as 30 rupees it it will be free for you so the 750 hours you can use it for free but as we are increasing the the size of the of the instance we are creating they might charge you around I mean you can check the pricing so but it, I, I can assure you it will not charge you more than 100 Indian bucks to do the com complete setup. So click on review and launch. <coughs> Sorry. Click on launch. So now this is uh, uh, you can choose an existing key pair. You can create a new pair. I guess the best would be to create a new pair right now. So CD continuous testing. I'll name it as whatever you want to. Click on download the key pair. This is very important because this is the only way for the authentication Amazon Web Services app. So you have to keep it very safely. Click on launch instance. 
and hit this to go to the instance so right now it will show pending state it will take around one two minutes to be in a running state till then i'm pausing the video once it's up i'll be back here. so now you can see that uh, it has changed from the pending state to the rings running state now you have to generate the password to connect uh, using the remote desktop so click on this option get windows password okay so you need to wait for some time before they let you do let you generate the password click on try okay meanwhile the password uh, we can what we can do is we can download the remote desktop file so what i did was i do it again i clicked on the instance right clicked on the instance and clicked on connect so now uh, there is an option to download the remote desktop file you can i mean if you have an idea how to connect to a remote desktop you can use the public ip and do that but the easier would be to download the desktop the rdp file so that you don't have to put the ips and stuff so here it is and i'll try again to be yeah, okay so now uh, now the key pair will that pem file which was generated would uh, help you generate the the password for the remote desktop so what you have to do is you just have to choose file and go to the download folder where you downloaded the pem file here it is okay here it is just click double click on that So uh, when you click decrypt the password, it will show you the password. Just copy that. For the security purpose, I'll, I'll create it and not share it with you. So let me just pause it. So for the security purpose, I've hidden the password. So you might see the screen when, screen when you uh, click on decrypt password. So just copy the password and click on the remote desktop file you just close it and uh, close this thing and click on the RDP file you just downloaded okay now click on what's happening here so that I have to use the pen and okay I need to click on clear okay. so now you click on connect to connect to the remote server you just created using the Amazon EC2. Oh, why isn't it working? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so now you need to uh, use the password which you uh, you copied it there. Great, you need to accept it and add the certificate for your computer. And here you go, so your Windows server is up and running uh, using the Amazon. So this is the server in which we'll do all the configurations, uh, which all these configurations. So, so all these configurations will be done on this server. Uh, one second, so it will take some time to... <clears throat> start because the machine is booting up they are setting up the permissions and other stuffs so it will take some time meanwhile I'm pausing the video and here you go you see your Windows 10 server Windows server screen so if you can check out the hard disk space okay great it has uh, the 100 GBs so uh, great so this is how we set up the amazon ec2 server first so this is the main thing which we need to have a cloud-based environment so uh, in the next videos i'll be installing these things and uh, let's see how it goes thank you for watching it